You know, Aquarius, we are doing a career reading for you. Wow, look at this. Look at this. Okay, so I feel like you guys had some disruptions in some whatever you were trying to do. There were some major disruptions here. And this is finally, you kind of said, okay, it's time to balance this stuff out, right? And um, I think that you've been learning a lot about balance. I think you've really started to build on a solid foundation. Um, I think for some of you, you went through this period of being completely... Um, do you know how a caterpillar goes into the cocoon and before they come out as the butterfly or the moth or whatever, right? They turn to mush. And I feel like that this is what you guys have felt like in the past, okay? There was a lot of self um, personal inventory. Like how do, how do, what do I need to change in myself and in my world to bring in exactly what I want? And this affected your career because when you do things like this, when you do that internal work, Okay, once you come out on the other side, it's like the difference between working smarter and harder, right? You're coming in at a higher frequency. I feel like you guys have um, have made the new start, okay? You've made the new start. You're starting to move forward. There was a lot of issue for you, Aquarius, with emotions that were surrounding some kind of uh, something that happened to you, again, um, and I feel like, you know, this nine of swords is, it, it, it stopped you. It stopped you from co-creating. It stopped you from being happy. It stopped, you know, you had to go in and I feel like you've learned these lessons. Now we've got the hermit here. This is a reminder here that these are lessons that you've already learned. You might feel like you're kind of in the thick of things still. Okay, like you might feel like, oh my gosh, I just can't, I can't do this anymore. It's always darkest before the dawn. The hermit is reminding you to, you know, you eventually will take those lessons and assimilate them and it will be like power for you. Okay, that wisdom, that's what's in the lantern there. That's your own unique soul light. Okay, he's got the staff, which is the receiver and the transponder. And for a lot of you, I feel like you have kind of forgotten that you're going to get through this. Okay, I don't know why they're talking so much about this stuff in particular, unless you're still kind of feeling this way. Okay, yeah. All right, this is to tell you to be gentle here. You know, you need to forgive others. You need to forgive yourself. You can have good boundaries and still be kind and gentle with yourself, okay? And I know when people look at the Queen of Swords, they don't think gentle, all right? But notice, you just need to notice how she's dressed, right? This is not, she's not in full armor, okay? She's sitting there relaxed on her throne, but she's got a boundary up. Okay, notice that it comes, the aspect comes in as the divine feminine, this energy. So it's a reminder to take care of yourself here. Because I feel like you guys are kind of still feeling vulnerable. Okay, and I guess that is why this is coming up for you. Because this is a career reading here. You could have some people around you also. I really feel like this has all been your energy though. Your internal energy. I'm going to ask for a card. Thank you. Yeah, this is about duality. This is about you understanding integration. I was just going to say, you understanding to integrate, you know, both of those sides of yourself. Okay? Like, I feel like you've got this king of wands up here. I'm ready for action, but he's still kind of looking back on the past here. And you've got this queen of swords that's looking towards the future with a boundary up. So you're kind of like stuck in the middle here. Okay, so you need to give yourself time to integrate these lessons. You also need to show forgiveness. And that is, you know, notice the 23, okay? Uh, this is showing me that you're kind of like, you're kind of like stuck between worlds here. Oh my gosh, can't make it up. This has been a period of transformation, okay? You're still kind of feeling that mush feeling and that's okay, it's okay. Maybe that's what you needed to hear is that that's okay to be there 
in that space right now. Know that, you know, you're already moving through it, I think. Yeah, a lot of you are like going, oh my gosh, this is taking so long. Okay, imagine, start to imagine what this is going to, what this is going to look like when you come out on the other end of this. Okay, we've got to be fair coming out and we've got the mending. This is about you understanding that this is a process. You learning how to be fair with yourself, how to be fair with others, how to be fair with the energies. Okay, it's also about you understanding, you know, you need to be loyal to yourself. Okay. All right, so let's ask, we've got all this coming out here. Let's take this Queen of Swords and stick her there. Let's put this Judgment card here. And let's ask what's coming in for you in your future here with your career. I'm going to grab another deck. Okay, you notice how they're not working together? Well, they're kind of working together, I guess, right? Some of you, it might feel like, you know, maybe something happened in the past. You feel like you might have to go straighten out. That's why that Knight of Wands is looking back towards the past. I just feel like you're really trying to balance things out. Okay. You know, it's always good to make amends if we have done things. It's good to have those conversations. It clears that energy. Nobody wants to carry that crap around with them. All right, Aquarius, let's see what we got going on for you. This is about Aquarius for their career. What do they need to know? Okay, I had too many cards come out. Give me a second. Thank you, angels. Okay, so they're showing the strength card. All right, and it's coming in with the eight, which also notice the infinity sign above her head, right? You guys have shown a lot of courage here and courage and bravery is not the absence of fear. It's about feeling the fear. It's about recognizing the fear and kind of moving forward anyway. Um, looking at that mountain of stuff that I need to process, right? And I'm just going to take it one day at a time and I'm going to do it. And I feel like a lot of this has taught you how to tame your inner beast here. Okay, you're starting to find peace in your life. And specifically, I feel like it has to do with the integration of emotions. Now, why are they bringing this up in your career reading? Because I feel like you may not have understood exactly how this was affecting your career. This is the narcissist card. Okay, it's a card of somebody who is usually reasonable and logical, just completely going full tilt. Okay, that's why they're bringing this up. Your personal life, your inner life is affecting or has been affecting your career. Okay, I feel like you guys did a lot of work here. Um, yeah, wow. I'm, I'm just kidding. I've got six of cups, I've got queen of swords, and I've got king of cups in the reverse. Why do they keep going back to this, guys? This, all, all I'm picking up on here is that you cannot, if you ignore your emotions, if you ignore this growth process, you're going to be stuck in this primal energy of like, and this is like anger and pain and not knowing what to do with it. So it lashes out and it comes out at really inopportune moments here. Okay. This has to do with something in your past. And notice this Queen of Swords is coming up in the reverse as well. Okay, this is, I'm um, assuming, the reminder that you need to pay attention to this growth moving forward. I really feel like you guys are getting opportunities coming in here. And maybe that's why they're giving you the reminder. Maybe this is like a fresh lesson that you need to make sure that you fully integrate before moving forward here. Yeah. Okay, here you go. I asked specifically, please, can we move forward from this, right? I feel like um, <clears throat> you guys are going to start moving forward. You're integrating these lessons in this heart space, okay? 
it was maybe you're at a point where you need a period of rest before you move forward, okay? You will move forward in a very balanced way. And we have partnerships on the horizon. And, you know, when you see the lover's card, a lot of people think, oh, that means I'm going to get married. That might be a lover coming in. This is about change. It's also about integration, okay? Uh, integrating the shadow side with the light side, right? That's really what I feel is coming through here. Um, notice we've got that chariot, which is moving forward in a balanced way, coming up around these balance cards. This is just key, okay, as to what's going to be coming in for you. Okay, yeah, so you're going to be moving forward here from all this pain, okay? You're going to have that spiritual wealth and health that you're going to move forward with here. The pain is over is what I keep getting these cards, okay? Okay. Like somebody, somebody must really be having a hard time here. Okay. Put the boundaries up here. It's okay. Right. This is funny. It's not funny. I don't mean it that way, but it's funny that these cards just keep repeating like this. All right. Just so you know, there's your wheel of fortune. You're going to have some choices here. I think the reason that they're really talking about all of this is so that you don't, when you start to move forward, you know, sometimes that can feel a little bit tricky, right? Because it's unknown territory and they don't want you to cloister up here and get stuck. Okay. Notice how he's clinging on to that energy in order for you to move forward and open these doors for yourself. Okay. You have to release the conflict and you can't you can't be holding on to all this energy. There has to be an equitable energy exchange here. Um, I do see you guys understanding this. When you move, when you start to move forward in alignment, you're coming straight into empire here. I've also got queen of pentacles coming out. Okay. I've got the magician and I've got the world as well. So this is about letting you know what you need to do to bring in the opportunities and they are huge they're coming up in the major arcana here you've got this wheel of fortune okay and you've got the world all right some of you um you could be getting a new job offer this is justice after you do this work this is justice after you remember that you have to bring the lessons that you learned with you okay Somebody could be taking um, a trip here. Somebody is possibly getting a brand new job, like a promotion, okay? And this is why they want you to understand this. Like you have to take these lessons with you. Notice the spirit, she's looking towards the past. She learned all that spiritual health and wealth from the past and they don't want you to forget this, okay? Or it'll bring in more conflict and chaos, right? They want you to understand this was a period of regeneration for you and that you need to carry that with you. We've got loyal heart coming out. This has to do with you being loyal to yourself. Okay? This partnership, you know, you might be partnering with people in business. I do see that coming in as an opportunity, right? whether it's on a project or something like that, there is that, but the level that they want me to speak to here is this internal level of you really, um, that's why we had that duality card, of you really understanding that you have to keep yourself balanced. That divine masculine, that divine feminine, I can't make it up, there you go, self-love. Self-love is going to bring you unlimited possibilities because you guys as air signs already have the reason and the logic and the strategy and you're a visionary and all of this stuff, okay? But it's not going to come into a fruition that makes you happy unless you, unless you bring your heart space with you. I've also got divine timing coming out here. Okay, movement into balance. So this is really uh, this is really the message here for you guys, Aquarius. Okay, 
you know, you had all those major arcana cards coming out here. The world, you've got the magician, you had the empress coming out here. Notice again, it came out in the divine feminine. Okay? This is really the path that you need to take here. Okay? To pull in these unlimited possibilities. All right? Loyal heart. It's about being loyal to yourself. There's forgiveness here. There's forgiveness everywhere. Okay? I'm going to ask about this Empress card, please. What does the Empire look like for Aquarius? I've got balance cards coming out again. Okay? I've got a King of Pentacles here. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> And I've got temperance. I've got patience and I've got the king of pentacles. <laughs> okay. You guys are going to have more than you need. Is what I'm getting. You're going to have more than you need. All right. This is really about spiritual growth. I feel like you guys are also in positions where... You know, your your decisions might be affecting other people, and that's another reason this is so this is so important. Yep. You're gonna have your choice of what you want to do here. Okay. Um, I'm gonna try and get a timeline here for you. Okay, give me one second. By the way, um, you can claim any part of this reading. I live in my authentic balance. I live in my authentic balance and alignment. I live in my authentic balanced abundance, right? I am healing. I am growing. Put it in the present tense. Claim this. Put it in the put it in the uh, comment section. Also, you know, leave some inspiring stories for other people. Yeah, we've got the teacher coming out for you. Number 15, which goes into a six, which obviously is two threes, right? Or three twos. You would do well to read more and otherwise learn about those who have worked diligently to attain what you seek and succeeded. So I feel like you're going to be in a position at some point, um, if you're not already, where you are training other people. And, you know, the thing here, I, I think what they're trying to tell you is to stay humble and keep learning here. Okay? Stay humble and keep learning. 222, two, two, look that up. All right, the number 33, completion. Your guidance is divinely guided is your oracle card. Okay? Which is a reminder not to ignore any piece of it. Not to ignore any piece of this. All right, Aquarius, I hope this has been helpful. Please take good care of yourselves. Take good care of each other. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Why am I feeling like I need to pull another card for you? I've got Unfinished Symphony. And Milk and Honey. Some of you might be looking back in the past and wondering... Um, you know, if there's something that you need to, to take care of, all right, I really feel like you're the unfinished symphony. Um, and when I say that, it's about you understanding the creativity and the beauty. Uh, you know, if you think about a symphony, how beautiful that music is, how well put together, how it makes us feel. And I feel like that's, that's the energy that you need to understand about yourself. All right. Hey guys, take good care of yourselves. I hope this has been helpful. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Take good care of others. And as always, be kind out there.